Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, July 14th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. My scripture today is Matthew 8, verse 3. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus knew the importance of touch. He didn't need to touch to perform a miracle. Indeed, there are several examples where he healed at a distance. So why did he touch? First of all, doing something tangible always appeals to our minds. How many times have I heard people say, when a loved one is in the hospital, oh, I can't do anything for them. All I can do is pray. Well, that's a little backwards. Prayer is the most important thing you can do. But what it says is we want to do something tangible. That's what gets through our minds and hearts. So Jesus knew that people would be more receptive typically if he were to tangibly, physically touch someone. But that's not the whole story. You see, Jesus knew what we're taught by the medical profession today. There are very few things in life more important than touch. If a baby isn't touched, isn't held, isn't hugged, isn't loved, the development of that child will be greatly slowed, if not permanently hampered. People can become depressed if they don't have physical touch in their lives. Now, I love hugs and Susie surely loves to give them, but it doesn't just need to be hugs. It can also be a hand on the shoulder, holding one's hand in yours. It can be just a very subtle touch, but touch is healing. Touch also has been shown to aid in our recovery and to keep us healthy and strong generally. Touch is so important. And we are frustrated during this pandemic that touch is one of the things we can't do. Even when we get back together, who's going to want to touch? Well, everyone, but they're not going to because of fear and because we've been taught that these pandemics, these viruses can spread so easily through person-to-person -person touch. I would ask you to pray with me that touch, appropriate touch, loving touch, gentle touch, faithful touch will return to our lives. And in the meantime, let us surround ourselves with love as we seek to share and to care about those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. And let's pray in his name at this time. Lord, we thank you that you not only lived in the world, but that you touched us, that you cared enough to be one of us, that you understood the importance of physical touch. We pray, Lord, that through this difficult time, we will find ways to affirm each other and to bless each other appropriately, not only with our words, but by touch. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.